So now we have our get next target procedure and we know how to use it by using multiple assignment to get the two results. There's one serious problem with the get next target procedure that we have to fix before we go on to the problem of outputting all of the links in the page. So the problem is we didn't really think very carefully about what should happen if the input does not have another link. So let's try and see what actually happens the way we've defined it. So here's the code we have for get next target. And we're going to try an example. First, we'll try an example where there is a link. So what we should get as the next target when this is the page that's passed in is the link that's included, which is between the double quotes inside the ahref tag. So when we run that, we get our two outputs. We got the string that's the link. And we got 37, which is the position of the end quote. And we can see it's printing out the two outputs as a tuple meaning the first one comma the second one surrounded by parentheses. And we could get those in an assignment like this. Instead of just printing it, we'll use our double assignment, getting those outputs, and we'll print the value of just the URL. And we get the string http colon udacity.com. So that worked well. Now what happens if instead of passing in a page that actually has a link, we pass in something that doesn't? So let's say our page is just the text good. Now there's no link to find, but the code's going to run anyway. And what we see as a result is we actually got the result goo. Probably not what we wanted. Um, and the reason we got the result goo is if you remember the find command, if it does not find what it's looking for, it returns negative one. And when we use negative one as an index, that means the last character of the string. So what we end up with is getting all the characters except for the last character. If we pass in something else that does have a double quote in it, so now we'll pass in not good at all, we see what we get back for the URL is not. So this is not very useful. This is pretty confusing behavior. It's going to be very hard to tell when we got to the last target because maybe not could be a valid URL. And we don't know that. So what we want to do is make get next target return something more useful in the case where the input does not contain any link. And the way we're going to do that will leave partly up to you, but I'll give you a hint to get started. So we're going to want to change the code, and you're going to want to put something in to the code here. If we found a link, well, we got a value for start link. That's the position of the start link. If we didn't find a link, what we got back from find was negative 1. And I want you to change what the get next target procedure does. So when there's no link to find, what we should return is the value none. This is the special value that means there isn't anything, and we'll return zero as the end pause. So let me write that out more precisely, but the hint is you're gonna to have to change the code after you found the start link to figure out whether there is a link to find. So your goal for this quiz is to modify the get next target procedure that we've defined so that if there is a link, it behaves exactly as it does now, still returns the URL of the link target, as well as the number of that position where the end quote is. But if there's no link in the input string, it should output none as the first output and zero as the second output. And, and none is a special value. That means it's not actually returning anything. 